Welcome to the task section's full tutorial. In here, you're going to learn how to sort by different criterias and create reports based on what you're looking for. Let's look at the task calendar. The task calendar is designed to make sure that you have a good feel for what's going on in your days, weeks, and months, and also future months to come. It also allows you to sort out the work so that you're not going to be overburdened at any given day and not be surprised with 16 things all of a sudden. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the currently none assigned calendar. As a manager in the office, what I can do is I can see everything that has yet to be given to my users. Let's say for instance that I know that some of these days uh, we're not going to be in the office or there's just too many things in here that we need to do that we just can't take care of whatever else is assigned for this day. So if I open this day up by just clicking it once, I can see all the different things that are in here. Now if I want to clear this day out, it's as easy as just clicking and dragging the work to days that make more sense so that you can take care of whatever else you need to do for the day that was originally planned for something else. Now that I've sorted out the work, I can take this one step further and give it to the associates in my office. You can do this by opening that day up and then either right clicking on the task and sending it to a user this way or you can regular left click it and open the task up very specifically still assign it to somebody else's name but maybe also give them a pop-up notification anywhere from five minutes to a few weeks in advance normally a day is the best option and this will then send it to that user's calendar if we look back at that user now we'll see that this task is now on that user's calendar because there is a day's worth of notification in between here what's going to happen is when this user logs in on Monday at 12 o'clock this user will be notified that this person is now responsible to do the annual trust return for the sample lawyer's office at 12 o'clock the following day the pop-up will look like a little icon in the lower right of your screen just above your time which will tell you the same details that we just saw for the task itself and also give you the ability to snooze so that you can have it pop up and remind you again a little later in your day if you don't want to be aware of it just yet. Now that's one way to sort out your work and make sure that things are very easily listed in your system. Because that information is available to you, it also means that you may want to actually see that in your list view. Now let's have a look at sorting out your task list and adding information that makes more sense to what we're doing. To sort out your task list to see a specific report, you're going to find the advanced search button in the upper left hand corner which looks like a magnifying glass. In here, you can add all the different search criteria you're looking for so you can get exactly the results you need. For example, if I wanted to see all the tasks for a specific company, I'm going to say search by that specific company. And maybe I don't want to specify a date range or any other pieces of information. So this would give me all the tasks for that one client. Now if you want to get a little more specific, you can always add more criteria on top of that. Like for example, if I want to add the HST tasks, I should get less results on my list. So as you add more particular pieces of search results, you'll get a very much more refined list in your results here. Now one of the things we can do as well is we can add more pieces of information. For example, the calendar date that we looked at is very important to know because it will tell you where is it on your calendar which also tells you how many days you have to get it done to its final due date. Let's add the calendar date by going into view hide columns in the upper left hand portion of the screen beside the magnifying glass search option. In this window you're going to add the option for calendar date and then click OK. This will update your list showing you now that you have a calendar date in this option. The calendar date will reflect where you physically moved a task to on the calendar itself. So that way you're aware of where it is versus where its final deadline is. Now this is really good information, but you also may want to know exactly where you are in the process of your overall work in the office. What you can do at this point, and this is specific to the computer that you're adding it to, you can go into view hide columns and you can add in the next seven items below estimated time. Their default names are everything from in possession to payment here. When you add these items, they're going to appear as checkboxes, which you can fill out as 
finished or not in your system. Now the administrator has the ability to rename these fields. Keep in mind that they do apply for all tasks in the system, so you want to make this a generic start to finish process. To modify the names of these fields, click on any view info button on the right hand side of your screen. It does not matter which one. And in the middle, or roughly the middle, you're going to see status information and you can click on define status info. This allows you to change the names of these fields to whatever you want them to be so you can customize the way that you would work your status in your office. Once you've modified the field names, you can then search by the specific task for their very specific status in the system. If you want to search by a status, go back into the advanced search and use the third tab which allows you to specify as checked or unchecked for that particular status. So this should give you a very specific re search result that you might be looking for at any time in your system. One final thing that is nice to know about this particular section in the program is you can also leave notes directly on a task and if you want that reflected in your list view you can also add a column for that. To add the notes column go to view hide columns and add in the note flag. This will appear before the client's name. When you want to add a note to a client's file click on the view info button for that specific task. In the notes section here type in whatever you need to add. When you click OK to save this, you will now see a note icon on that particular task. So at this point, you can then just click the icon, which will bring you right to the note. If the note ever becomes irrelevant, you can delete it, and the note section will clear out the icon. Finally, if you ever need to print your list, you can always go to the View and Print Report button. Keep in mind that the amount of different columns that you have showing on here may be a little too wide for a page. So if that's the case, you may want to remove a few things from your view hide columns option before you go and print a report. When you want to print a report, click on the printer icon labeled view print report at the upper left hand corner. This will then give you the exact same information that is currently on your list so you can send it to your default printer.